Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising monthly tarot reading for August 2018. Before we start with the spread, I, uh, I want to tell you that if you find it very helpful, uh, that video and you want to know more about Scorpio's career and relationship, you can purchase the extended tarot reading for just as little as one dollar and in that video we will focus uh, on the career uh, on a spread on, on career spread and relationship spread for the month of August for Scorpio and that way you can obtain a even a, a bigger understanding for what is yet to happen with you so that being said <clears throat> I chose for this month a seven card spread and the first card points to the carry on circumstances that will follow you into the month of August here Scorpio we have the five of pentacles with the situation here or the topic of the month that will be the seven of cups uh, afterwards we go for the intentions or what you can do during the month here we have the ten of cups i was worried for a second looking at the first couple of cards to be honest but now things are start getting better all right uh the best possible approach toward the situation three of swords so we do have an ending here well for what is happening in between the seven of cups and the three of swords there is a, a big set synergy of realizing something guys we will reach a, a very big insight here uh, and that insight will be uh from a prerequisition prerequisite excuse me of a, a poignant experience we had in the past then is the attitude of the people which are surrounding us and which are involved into our situation this is going to be the chariot card followed by the challenges to be overcome this is going to be the eight of cups and the last card shows the final outcome for us scorpios we have the temperance very interesting so as i said this is going to be an unending we are going to place we scorpio choose to do it all right it's not that this ending is gonna swallow us it's just on the contrary we will be sick of whatever happens into for example our relationship or our career and we will put an end to it this doesn't mean that we will have to break it right but we will just put an end to the current ongoing thing that is going on in our life and that is shown here into the carry on circumstances now for what it seems guys we are facing challenges or rather not challenges but difficulties in many fronts all right one could face difficulties to create a relationship, other could face difficulties into their marriage and into their career and into, into, you know, into their relationship in general. But the Five of Pentacles points that we are starting to feel very insecure. We are starting to feel despondent regarding the, um, how can I say it, regarding the good fortune which may, allow, uh, which may await us, all right? So this card here plays a role where we, we, we become not sociopaths, but rather like we become more, um, uh, we become more uh, people which has lack in belief of that the best is yet to come, all right? So, as, and we have accepted our fate that the things are going to go that way. But... Here in August, something will happen. We have the Seven of Cups, which points that some of our dreams from fantasies will become somehow reachable and they can totally be brought in reality, all right? So, uh, but, the, but the Seven of Cups this time around uh, advises us not to take the same mistake back again. So, for example, if we're talking about career, you know, um, you may have had a very poignant experience in your previous relationship and now you can, uh, you can start a, a new relationship, Scorpio, but just because you're thrilled of starting a new relationship, you know, you may overlook that this person has uh, a, a likewise qualities of the previous one, which kind of like hurt you you know so very important here with the seven of cups is um, instead of daydreaming you know and instead of uh, kind of like enjoying ourselves to as much as we can with that new activities uh, either career or relationship wise is also to try to kind of like foresee forewarn uh, for forewarn ourselves of how these things can develop uh, what I'm trying to say here guys is that we should not live for the moment but rather we need to try to kind of like um, logically explain to ourselves 
where these things are leading you toward, all right? Instead of just blindly giving ourselves into it. Very important here, because our daydreaming could amplify the sense of feeling very unstable, all right? That could be very well take places. For example, you're enthralled by a person, and as you're enthralled by a person, they stop calling you suddenly, and that will make you even less, even believing less that you will be able to be happy in relationship again, all right? So we have to be grounded, and we have to be objective during the month of August. Then we do have the third card, which represents what our aims could be. Ten of, pent ten of uh, cups... <clears throat> It's a very good card in, in that particular case now. It says that we need to start looking around ourselves and kind of like realize the blessings we do have. So this month we have to be prone more, more about the blessings that we do have on our account instead of the, um, the disadvantages we may experience. All right. The Ten of Cups in that particular place uh, represents the... Um, the standpoint of that we deserve more. It is simply we deserve to be happy again, all right? This is what we can do during that month, regain back our happiness. But that needs to start from the idea that we deserve to be happier than we are right now. So what we can do here with that card is to uh, aim to improve our marriage, aim to improve our relationship, aim to improve our career, realizing that as if we do not, if we kind of don't act and do nothing, then there will be no improvement. The Ten of Cups, it is exactly that. It is a realization that we do deserve more. It is not about that we want more, all right? We do deserve it. And we got to reach out and get it. So the four, the Three of Swords represents the best possible approach toward the situation. I pretty much explained it that we do, but we have to be grounded, you know, and we have to be objective about what could happen from that enterprise we're going to embark to a. Um, August 2018, but also the card points that we have to heal ourselves, all right? So the pain that we do experience from the broken relationship, from the uh, failure of a certain project or activity, you know, from the... Um, mm, uh, from the betrayed trust, for example, from our friend, from a friend of ours, etc., etc., it is only in our mind. It is no longer in our heart, guys. So the emotions that we, Scorpio, experience right now, they're created from the uh, from the thoughts we do have, most likely linked to our pride. How these people could have done that to us? All right. And that's why we need to focus more about the future rather than upon the uh, rather than upon what happened. This is the way how we heal ourselves because uh, we are feeling lost right now because we are allowing those negative thoughts to twist and tangle our mind. So we need to bury them in the past. Your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend, they have to stay in the past where they belong to. All right, you Scorpio need to be focused upon the future. And this is the way how you're going to feel, uh, re, uh, heal, excuse me, and mend your emotions regarding, as I said, failure of a project, job loss, relationship loss, etc., etc. Uh, treachery as well. Uh, so you, you basically need to kind of like leave these things in the past and just move on. It is easier said than done, but you can definitely do it. I can do it, so you can do it as well. Then we do have the chariot card, which represents the attitude of the people that are supporting you, or rather that are involved. They, they may not always supporting, you know, but in your case, they will. We have the chariot card, and this is the encouragement these people will give you to break clean with the past and just focus on the future. Very important card here, because these people will recognize that it is so hard, and you have been uh, experiencing such... Uh, mistreat all right so you have been mistreated clearly with that card uh, taking that place but 
right now you cannot do much about it Scorpio and you just need to let go of it at this very moment maybe, maybe in the future you will have a chance to pay back the favor but right now that cannot happen so these people will encourage you to jump into a relationship if you have the chance to do it all right these people will encourage you to start a new job these people will encourage you to restart your life if you want to say it that way because I am now looking uh, more and more into these cards I think that this is all about restarting one Scorpio's life in which you will now have the opportunity finally to feel yourself happier than ever before chariot card uh, literally in support points to these people that are surrounding and involved into your situation Scorpio they will give you such a support and such a momentum that you will feel almighty and you will have no problems you know to overcome any kind of difficulties that come in your way these people will help you find a way you know to solve even unresolvable uh, problems here then uh, but but what happens is that the challenge is to be overcome guys eight of cups so you will find it very hard to believe that the things are uh, are that good all right so you will have the standpoint of that this is too good to be true and you will have find it hard to believe that you can restart your life so it's all about in our mind Joe august and we have to ask ourselves you know do we deserve to suffer for something that it is already past, something that it is already finished, and probably that the other people doesn't, uh, p the people who did this to us doesn't suffer any longer, you know, they, they just live their lives. So do we deserve to live our life or do we deserve to be tormented? Well, we do deserve to live our life. And this is the challenge here, guys, to just walk away, walk free, even though the current situation in the start of August, it is somewhat you know um what was the word i was searching for here uh it is unsatisfiable for us and we know that we can achieve much more walking away from it and focused on our future a, a brighter perspective emerges for uh, for us soon after of course uh, this is also associated with um with some difficulties that we may overcome displayed here with the mountains in front of the person all right because these are symbols of uh, difficulties <clears throat> and probably we, um, uh, we will not have much faith of that you know we can improve our life that is described here with the moon card and the, the person walking in the night but uh, the eight of cups is a card pointing that we need a, a fresh wind in our life all right and that could be the new person you will date with, that could be the new job that you will start. In general, we need change. And that change will happen with our determination that we do deserve better. And at the end, we do have the temperance card. And this is the promise here that things are going to normalize into our life. So our extreme standpoint of being constantly struggling, it will be entirely over. That card points that we're going to surround ourselves with people who understand us, with people who are generous to us, who are compassionate, people are filled with solidarity. So in general, this card represents that we will find ourselves into a very humbled and comfortable environment I, I, in social circle you know in career as well that kind of points that we finally here found our path if you can see it you know path who is going to a crown and crown is uh, in tarot is a symbol of um, <clears throat> divinity all right so our divine path has finally came so we are going to find something in our life either relationship wise or career wise that finally worth fighting for that finally is something which is appreciative to us that we are giving efforts in uh, toward it and it's gonna pay in return all right that is very rare because sometimes if we give efforts toward people they are ungrateful they take us for granted all right and that will not happen this time around so we are going to find our place beneath the sun very good month for us scorpio starting a little bit rough but it's going to improve quickly after so that being said scorpios thank you for watching this was your monthly tarot reading for august 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you are interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video rat signing out now See you next time. Bye.